So in this video, I'm going to share with you guys three things that you need in order for you to find the right product. And I'm going to show you step by step where to go, what to do, and simply where to go after that. So those of you that don't know who I am, my name is Bashar Katu, and I'm the founder of BJK University, an education university with a mission to impact 1 million lives. So with that said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen and then just simply kind of walk you through it. But before I do that, I want to share with you guys the three things, what they are and why they're important. So the very first thing that you want to have or know is a budget, right? How much money do you have to invest in this business? Now, one thing that a lot of people, it's a misconception. When people want to start any business or want to do anything, they look at their savings. How much money can I save for the next six months? What can I do? You never want to start a business on a budget. What do you want to do is you want to figure out how much that business requires and then figure out how to get the money. That is the most important thing. You, well, let me back up. You need money to make money, but you personally do not need to have the money in order for you to make the money. Because let's just say that you need $10,000 to start a business. Well, you personally don't need to have the 10,000. Someone else you know has the 10,000. All you need to do is figure out where and how you're gonna allocate the 10,000, have a plan, have a system in place, and then convince somebody to give you the 10,000 so you can invest in your business. Does that make sense? So again, first thing, you gotta understand how much money you need. Number two, you want to make sure that you know what category you wanna get into, what niche. Number three, you wanna have a criteria. And usually the third thing, the criteria is based on number one, it's the money, right? So let's just say that we have about $10,000 to start. I'm going to share my screen and kind of walk you guys through what that would look like to um, get you the $10,000 or what that would look like for you to make the $10,000. All right. So if you go to um, Helium 10, and this is a tool that I personally use and all of our students use, and this is just the tool that we've been using for the last few years, and it's been pretty awesome for us. And so you have to have a tool, you know, because it's like, working hard versus working hard and smart, right? You can go out there and you can do a lot of this stuff manually yourself, but by paying this like $97 or I think it's, I think it's a hundred dollars, between hundred to hundred dollars a month for this tool, it'll save you so much time and so much effort. And do understand, make the, try to make that mindset shift. Time is the only resource that is irreplaceable. A lot of you guys are so hung up on I want to save money. I don't want to spend money here. I don't want to spend money there. I could probably do it myself. Time is the only irreplaceable asset that you have. Money is replaceable. You can make the $100. You can make the $5,000. You can make the $50,000. But you cannot get the weeks, the months, the years that you've invested, that you spent or wasted, right? So the first thing is I personally like to select top eight to 10 categories. And personally for me are baby, beauty, um, let me see. Health and household, home and kitchen, industrial and scientific, kitchen, dining, office products, pet supplies, and sports and outdoors and toys and games. Well, we're going to leave this out. So these are kind of my top nine favorites. Now, depending on, again, how much money you have to play with, but we're just going to assume that you have about $10,000 in order for you to do this. So first, we figured out how much money we need. Number two, we figured out what kind of categories that we need to make this happen. Number three, we want a criteria and the criteria matches the, the price. So what I want to do is I want to be able to make, so if you're going to invest your entire $10,000 into the product, then I'm assuming you're not going to do anything else. So if the $10,000 is just for the product, usually you're able to buy the product for about 25% of the, what it makes. So if a product makes about $40,000, that means it costs you about $10,000. Now, don't get excited and, and think, oh, 30,000 is profit. No, it's not. You're probably going to profit about $10,000 because there's Amazon fees, there's customer acquisition costs, which is like your advertising, all that stuff, right? So again, if you have $10,000 to invest in just the product, and I'm assuming that you have more money to invest in coaching or tools or PPC, all this other stuff. So just $10,000 into product. Then what we want to do is we want to say, okay, so we want product that makes between 30,000 to 40,000. Okay. The next thing is you can set a price, but if there is a product that sells for $50, 
N cells, I don't know, I'm just kind of making a number out, you know, uh, uh, out of my head right now, what would be 40,000 divided by 50. So that's 800. So it can sell 800 units, right? Um, uh, per month. Or it could be a product that sells for $25 and it sells 1,600 units. So, you know, you, you don't want to restrict yourself too much. But the one thing that I do want to make sure is I don't want a product that's too competitive. So what I'm going to do is I like the number 300. So I'm going to say, I'm going to find a product that uh, simply, you know, doesn't have more than 300 reviews or the average of the top 10 uh, sellers are, is not more than 300. Now, one thing do put in mind, the more money you have, you, you invest in this business, the more money you're going to make. But also the more money you're going to invest, it's going to put you in a category that is less competitive. And here's what I mean. A lot of people have 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. Less people have 5,000, 6,000, 7,000. Even less people have 10,000, 12,000, 15,000. Even less people have 20,000, 25,000, 30,000. Does that make sense? So the more money you invest, obviously the more money you make, but also the less competition you have because less people are likely to invest more money or have more money or have made that mindset shift like I hope that you have in this video of, yes, you need money to make money, but you personally do not need to have money to make money. You can find somebody that has the money, have a system in place, show them how they're going to get a return on their investment, and then simply have them inject the money in your business, right? And then you run it. You guys could do 50-50 or whatever else. That's a whole nother story. I have a video on the channel. I believe the, the video is what would I do if I was broke or if I were to go broke or something like that? Or what would I do if I had zero dollars? Check it out after this video if you want and watch it, um, if you are in that situation. So you could get a little more like um, restricted when it comes to your, 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 um, your criteria. But I would, at first, when you're first starting, I would keep it as broad as possible. Right now, it's not really very broad because we've already selected categories. We've selected the, the revenue. We've selected reviews, right? If you want to restrict it more, maybe I would start with like less categories. I would also start with things like, okay, I want only small or large or whatever. Um, right, I wouldn't touch this. There's also advanced filters. You know, you could go into other stuff and start playing around. I don't really like to play around very much. You could go wait and say, okay, well, I only want a product that's like three pounds or between, you know, less than five pounds or something like max could be five pounds or something like that because then your shipping is going to get, you know, pretty, pretty... Um, uh, it's going to be a lot, right? Um, I wouldn't really touch anything else, but those are kind of the things that I would do. And then what I would do is I would just simply do the search. And then I would start going through every single product, right? And then make sure that it fits my criteria. Okay, is it in these categories? Yes. Does it make about this much? Yes. You know, is the average of these sellers, does it have that much? Yes. And then what do you want to do is you go to Amazon and then you simply take, you try to... So for instance, what is this? MDF, what? Prague? Okay, I can't even pronounce this. Um, okay, so tennis, so tennis ball case, right? So you take this, you go to Amazon, tennis ball case. There you go. Okay, here's that product that we were looking at. Awesome. And then what you want to do is you want to run this Chrome extension thing that Helium 10 also has. And then you want to look at the numbers, right? Does it match my numbers? Does the top 10 sellers match my numbers, right? One thing you want to look at is reviews. Pretty good reviews, actually. That's actually a pretty decent product. Now, yes, you do have one person that has 7,000 reviews, but then the most of everyone else is within that 300 review mark that you want. Actually, not bad. Um, okay, how much are they making? Okay, this guy's making 1.7, whoa, per month. Now, you want to be at that 30 to 40,000. It's a little less, but there are sellers that are making about that much, right? Also your price, see the price is very high. But again, what we said earlier, it doesn't matter because at $50, you would need to sell 800 units. But these guys are selling you know, less than that, but they're making more because the price is, uh, the product is, um, is highly priced. And that's even a better thing. The higher priced item, the less people are likely to buy that product and launch that product, right? The less competition that you have. Right. And then we can go into other stuff, but you know, I just don't want to go too much into too much depth into in, in this video because 
I have other videos on the channel where I go into like how to analyze a product or whatever, but I just wanted to kind of show you guys the top three things that you should look for when you come to looking for a product. Number one, money. Again, you need money to make money, but you don't have to personally have the money. Number two, you want to make sure that you have the top categories that you want to sell in. And then, uh, you know, these are the top nine that I personally like. And then uh, the third thing is have a criteria. And then this is usually based on the money that you're starting with. Cool. Hope this helps you guys. If you did and you want us to kind of walk you through this entire process step by step and show you how it's really done, below this video, there's a, a link to, a, 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 to a, a little survey where you can fill it out then see if you qualify to get on a one-on-one -on -one call with one of our enrollment coaches where they'll kind of break down to you what it is, how it works, what you need to do, and how we can help you. Click that link. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.